Can you make this your bride? Good. <laughs> Hi to your brothers. Let's say hi to your big brothers. It's Mother's Day, it's 2004. I love you. I'm Mary Carolyn Swab. There, that's me in the pink. And all those smiling people, they're my family. There's my oldest, John. He's an artist. Then there's Jim Michael. He's off at his first year of college. And then there's my baby, Lily. She's just learned how to drive. My husband, Brett, and I have been together for decades. Literally, we started dating in high school. But here's the truth. I've spent pretty much all my life taking care of these guys in all their moods, good and bad. Now my kids don't need me like they used to. My therapist kept telling me to follow my bliss. And my family all agreed it was my turn to go exploring. But where? So I came up with an idea. I needed some adventure. I did. I wanted to meet people who shook things up and made me look at life differently. I wanted out of my comfort zone. I wanted to try something new and talk to people, all kinds of people. Of course, my friends think I'm completely crazy, but I don't even really care because I'm just so curious about what in the world's going on out there. Everybody wants to belong somewhere, to fit in, to be a part of a group. I think we all need that, don't you? Me, I'm fascinated with people who go all out. I mean, take a look at me. I'm a little on the quirky side myself. Here's the thing. These folks find something they love, they come together, and then they create the most elaborate, one-of-a-kind worlds you can imagine. And they don't really care what anybody thinks. I love that. In fact, I admire it. And here's what else I love. They tell you just exactly what they think. Here, let me show you what I mean. Hold it. Please don't put it on though. <laughs> I'll get in big, big trouble if you put it on. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. Well, it's not every day you get a command from a queen in Mississippi or meet someone who makes furniture for Barbie dolls and names it. Betty runs $40. So this is Betty, this couch. Now, and uh, Shirley runs 30 Or who fesses up to square dancing, being an aphrodisiac. Well, I wouldn't know so much say an aphrodisiac, but a. Uh, yeah, it helps. Yeah. Um, so how has it helped you? It's, you don't a, answer, it's, you don't a, it's a romantic kind of a thing. Oh, in between. So a foreplay. Yeah. It, yeah, that's a good word for it. But in my adventures out of the house, I've been traveling the country talking to people who I think will make you smile and wonder what makes them tick. Gentlemen, thank you for coming out to play with us this Monday of Wolf War. Here's a glimpse from one of the places I've been, Lumberton, Mississippi. They call themselves the Society of Creative Anachronism. 3,000 people, that's right, 3,000, who for a week leave the modern world they call the mundane behind and jump feet first into the Middle Ages. I mean, I know people who live in the past, but these guys take it to a whole different level. I'll be baking about uh, 25 loaves. Wow. Okay, count me out on that. But I did want to have a full body experience, so I went shopping. So that is like one hot, smoking hot outfit. So leaving my naked self behind, another part of the lingo which means you're in modern clothes. Listen, you need a glossary. The first question I had to ask was why? Why do they do this? My husband didn't play for the first eight years of our marriage. And I play, and I play hardcore, and he thought we were a bunch of crazy people wearing costumes and playing in the woods. Right. <laughs> and I got him to come to an event, and once he witnessed the camaraderie, and, and everything, crazy. he jumped in it with both feet. And let's face it, this whole playing in the woods thing did sound kind of fun. So besides the community, there's also the really quirky history. Like the history of the cod piece and why in the world it was first used. Henry, I forgot exactly which one of Henry's is, he actually bought cod okay, pieces in fashion. Because as you know, he had an STD and an enlarged penis. So the, it was worn and padded to protect him. So it was very large and very um, ostentatious. Well, no, I didn't know that. Or the origin of this. It's a long story, but it started with middle fingers being cut off in battle. Okay. Archers right. couldn't pull their bows because of it. Like the movies, like but the like ones that still had them, yeah, well, it was the beginning of a tradition. This has been around 1412. 
That's fuck awesome. you. Fuck you. Michelle, fuck you. Another fuck one you. Okay, it is a body group. It is the Middle Ages after all. But I was touched by this community's Hi. friendliness and kindness and its attempt to reclaim some of the qualities we've lost in the 21st century. In places we've lost. I, I come from hurricane country. I, we were hit by Katrina and Rita and everybody else. And, and one of the things, one of the statements that came out of that was is if, you, if you have a problem and you and your neighbor can't solve it, nobody else is coming. So um, everybody got really tight in southern Louisiana um, with helping each other. The reality is, no matter where I travel, whether to the world of the Middle Ages, or an over-the-top Barbie convention, or a square dance festival, I did find those people who shook up my life. People who challenged some of my notions of how you should live. Well, I think I'm gonna do a draw bow just because it looks so badass. People who made me laugh. <laughs> I told my wife when we got married, I said, if you're a jealous person, we got problems because I've hugged women from the East Coast to West Coast. And people who confirmed it was worth chasing your passion, no matter what anybody thinks. Lots of people had the opinion that if, if you collect Barbie dolls and that there's something wrong with you, that they think, oh, you know, or you were deprived, your childhood was deprived. Right, Which that that's not the case. Not no way. And so what would you say to those people? I would just say whatever turns you on, do your own thing.